my darlings. Good evening. It's Monday. It's 7 01. Does that mean I'm late? <laughs> it's one minute. Don't judge me. Get your handheld device ready. Get me on your televisions if you're screen sharing, because tonight we are live across YouTube and Facebook. Oh, we are multi streaming. Multi streaming because the world needs it. The world need, needs some lavoir, needs glitter, needs glamour on a Monday. It's Monday in lockdown. What could be more depressing? The start of another week. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to lift your spirits. Pour yourself a drink and gather round. I want to know who's watching, uh, who's joining me tonight. We have uh, This is the Secret Makeup Club. If you're new, welcome. Why is it secret when I'm live across so many formats? It's a contradiction, isn't it? It's a secret because I'm giving away my secrets. And you are telling me your secrets, your favourite brands, your favourite makeup products, your favourite products, and we are sharing it to the world and we're all learning from each other. I have learned so much from you people via comments I have. Uh, I hope you've learned more from me because that is the idea. I am the expert international celebrity makeup artist and global superstar coming to you live on your phone. So good evening. Hello, Alice Branch. Oh my God, I enjoy, I enjoy paying your Beach Boys request on the BBC Three Counties radio show. Have to get the full title and you can't just say radio show, you've got to say BBC. <sighs> Now I'm wearing my red sparkles. This is a replica costume of Liza Minnelli's New York, New York costume that she had made. And of course it's Liza's birthday this weekend. So I thought I'm gonna wear a bit of Liza and something ridiculously sparkly for our talk tonight. Um, hello Mary, darling, hello Nicola, hello Linda. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're all joining in. Talk to me while we're warming up the, uh, warming up the airwaves. Hello Mandy, my darling. Neil, nice to see you. Um, well, I can't see you, can I? But I can see your comments. What sort of a week have you had? What week have I had? Good week, but a good week. Um, oh, I've planted carrots and onions in the garden. It cost me more to buy the compost and the trough to put them in than it probably would have for six onions I'm going to get by September. But I'm trying to be self-sufficient. Before you know it, it'll be solar panels and I'll be doing a bicycle in the garden just to run my heating. Oh, yes. Will be. Hello, Gaynor. Hello, Louise. Hello, Alex. Thank you, my darling. Lots of people joining tonight. Welcome, gorgeous. Now, I wanted to recap before we get into the theme tonight, where we're talking about shimmer and glitter and glamour and, and how to make your makeup blingy. So basically, you're going to go from day to night in a few products. And some of you will be scared of glitter and shimmer and sparkle. I'm going to show you how you can use it in the best way for your age group. If you're thinking I'm too old for glitter, you're not. And if you're thinking I'm young and I want to cover my face in glitter, hold back. It's not Hobbycraft, it's Secret Makeup Club with Lavoie. But we're going to go through everything from sheens to shimmers to highlighters to glitters to liquid glitters to loose glitters. And we're going to end with a little bit of flat back crystals. Oh, yes. We're going to be doing the equivalent of a Lavoie dress on your face by the end of it. Neil is saying homegrown veg always tastes better. I agree, Neil. I agree. I've grown purple sprouting broccoli once. I went to the doctors because I hadn't planted it, but never mind. Different story. Do you have any tips for radio, Lavoie? Doing my first show this week. Mary, relax is the best advice I can give you for radio. And just keep talking. Whatever comes into your head, just keep talking and repeat yourself. Because people tune in and out. They don't listen for as long as you think. Well, that's... So what I learned. Happy birthday for yesterday, John. Happy birthday for yesterday, John. And a happy birthday to Matt Stevens. And a massive happy birthday to Dan Boardman, my pianist, who you'd have seen on the tour. It's his birthday today. So raise your glass. Happy birthday, Dan. Now, some of you have been watching me weekly since we started doing these secret makeup clubs. And I want to know, have some of you been doing the retinol since we had Natalie on? Because if you have, you'll be in about week three or four if you bought your Medicaid retinol, your 0.03%. Have you tried it? Who's on the retinol journey with me? I am. I've stepped up from my twice a week to my every other night now. And I think I'm noticing the difference. I think my skin is looking better. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting compliments. It's always good. Um, who's doing that? Has anyone bought any products we've been talking about on the Secret Makeup Club, and have you been trying it? Maybe it's Hada Labo Skincare. Maybe it's Transformulas. Maybe it's um, the Miracle Marine Eye Cream. Maybe it's a foundation, a tinted moisturiser. Maybe an eyeshadow. Maybe a brow pencil. Maybe a lip balm. Tell me, what have you bought? How have you been finding it? 
would you recommend? Gaina, straight off the bat, loving the retinol. Isn't it amazing? Now, it's scary when you talk about it like we did with Natalie, because it seems so chemical and risky. And I do get a bit sore, not sore, but I can tell my skin is sensitive. Uh, but then once that passes, oh my God, your skin has never looked better. Your skin has never looked younger. We're talking about uh, the who has been using the retinol, if you've just joined us. Um, I'm on every other night. My skin is so much better. Lorraine, isn't it amazing? I'm so glad you're on every other night. We're on the same time scale as you guys. Uh, sorry, I cannot join you. I'm vaccinating, but my skin is so much better with Medicaid. Have confidence about the luminosity of my skin. Alison, well done. Cannot join you. She's vaccinating people. Alison, you cannot delay the vaccination process across the UK to watch Lavoie. That is one excuse I will let you off for. What's this retinol? Retinol is vitamin A, Ian, that basically helps to get your skin cell renewal process up back to how it was when we were younger. Because as we get older, it slows down. And you can buy products with different percentage of retinol in. Because if you just put it strong on, you will flare up and get quite irritated skin. So you build up, Ian, from 0.3 to 0.6 to 1. If you don't know what I'm on about, go on my YouTube channel, Lavoir the Show, and all the secret makeup clubs are on there on YouTube. So you can watch back at your own leisure. And that's on the one to do with retinol. And we have an expert on about halfway through, Ian, skip through. Natalie joins us and about how to use retinol, where to buy the rest retinol, the best retinol, and how your skin will look from using retinol. So we are live tonight on YouTube as well. So welcome to all my YouTube audience. If you haven't been to Lavoie's YouTube, you need to go and check it out. It is exactly the same name uh, as my Facebook and Instagram. So it's Lavoie the show on YouTube. And my Queens of the Kitchen is on there. The full series with uh, uh, Rosemary Schrager. I forgot her name. Rosemary's gonna kill me. All the ingredients and recipes are on there as well. All the secret make clubs are on there. All my uh, shows and comedy material is on there. Songs are on there, album launches, you name it. It's all on my YouTube. So you can watch any of these back at your own leisure. And some people can use YouTube on their television. So you might be able to switch now to your main television in your living room and watch Lavoie on YouTube live or watch them back at your leisure on your television. Is there anything I don't give, quite frankly? Um, I just think, you know, giving, giving, giving all the time. Um, love the YouTube channel, especially your new dress. Yes, we've got a brand new video on there showing you from page to stage a brand new dress that I have made. So go out there and watch that. Anita's been using the Hada Labo cleanser. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you like it, Anita? Um, Joanne used the Hada Labo cleanser and said her skin felt amazing after using it, just after one wash. Uh, love the colours on your eyes. Well, I've got quite black and greys and browns tonight. I've got no shimmer, no highlighter, no sparkle on my face because we're going to be doing that tonight. So I left myself quite matte. Um, can tell your skin. Thank you, Ian. Genuinely, that's down to the retinol and the Hada Labo skincare with, you know, I love it, hyaluronic acid. If you've got retinol, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in your skincare, you're going to have the best skin. So, should we crack on? What, Joanne watches? Yes, you have a finger in everything, darling. I do. Oh, I do. Multi-talented. Let me this powder. We don't want to be glowing yet. So, welcome to the world of glitter and shimmer. Now, I, when I'm on stage, never used to wear glitter because I have a slight phobia of glitter. Absolute truth. Not in a, I need to see a counsellor because I'm genuinely scared of it. But I used to, it goes everywhere, doesn't it? You find it all over your face, it's all over your body, it drops. It was everywhere when I was cleansing my skin and going home, I just feel like a glitter ball. I was like, I'm not using glitter in my makeup ever. So for years, I never, ever, ever used glitter. When I was working at Madame Jojo's, a oh, different story. Just glitter was, you know, the whole face was covered in, in gel and all sorts and just glitter thrown on, on stage. Probably didn't look my best, but my God, I sparkled, I tell you that much. So let's start with shimmer into pigments, into loose glitter, into crystals. We're going to ease our way up into the glamour. And I want you to try this wherever your age is. Some of these things, you will love them. So let's go back to week one when we were talking about um, eyes and hooded eyes and bringing things forward and sending things back. So shimmer, what's shimmer going to do? It's going to bring things forward. It's going to bring focus and it's going to reflect light. 
So bear that in mind wherever you're putting it. So if you've got hooded eyes, you're not going to want to put shimmer and sparkle on your under your brow bone here like you're used to, a brow highlighter. Why is that? It's going to bring it forward. Someone's going to take a picture. The light's going to reflect off those hooded bits. Your eyes are going to look more hooded. You're going to look tired. You're going to be like, what's going on? Same with highlighter on the face. If it's too silvery, too white, it's going to reflect the light back on all your selfies. And you're going to look like that. We've all seen it. That Taui look, that Essex look where they just look almost silver and ghost-like. It's called ghosting. It means your highlight is too silvery for your skin tone. However, there is ways you can use all of this to use the fact of selfie lighting, Zoom calls, ring lights to make the focus where you want it. So if you've got hooded eyes, you want to put shimmer on your lower eyelid here or in the tear duct area, nowhere near your crease, all in here to brighten and to lift, okay? Or on your lower eyelid, all the way across, you can put shimmer there, but stop when you get near your hooded bit. You want a matte flat shadow on that. On your brow bone, do it close to your eyebrow. Let me get something so I can point with. So it doesn't mean you can't wear shimmer, but when you're doing your highlight, put it really close up here, not all on your brow bone on this area. That's the way to do it. A palette that I love, and I know I've raved about this an awful lot, is it's by Morphe, and it's the James Charles palette. And it's enormous, and it is um really cheap for the amount of eyeshadows you get it's not that cheap it's 39 pounds but that is all your bright colors all your contouring brushing and highlighters and then your fun colors at the bottom but look here you've got a highlighter that's white a highlighter that's yellowy you've also got lighter uh tanny uh mattes and then you've also got a really nice champagne shimmer here now that is a beautiful color for highlighting so what are you going to do with that? Take a traditional eyeshadow brush, like this, like your traditional flat eyeshadow brush, run it in that champagne colour, give it a tap. And what you're going to do is, this is tricky because this camera's mirrored, is you're going to run it under the brow, like that. Can you see? So I'm not going low, I'm literally carving out my brow with that. Now, look at the difference. See what I mean by light reflecting the back? Look how that has gone a little bit low there for my liking and how much um, flashback that is giving you in that light. So if you imagine that was all over that hooded area, oh my gosh, your eye looked like it was bursting forward. So if it goes a bit low, I just take a little bit of my darker eyeshadow. I need to clean my brushes. And I would just go back over where I've gone a little bit too low there. What am I doing? I'm matting that back down. So the shimmer is there. Can you see? So that's how, when you get a palette and you, you have an age where you think, I can't wear shimmer, and there'll always be shimmery ones in all those palettes that you'll avoid, there is a great place. And also, same brush, you're a traditional flat brush, same colour, that sort of champagne white. Go, let me do the same eye, in right on your tear duct area there. Just press that. I said same eye, I'm doing completely the opposite eye. All in here. Now, obviously, I've gone quite dramatic so you guys can see. Now, because I've got a ring light, that's not reflecting back massively, but look at that corner of the eye. And then that corner there, how much more open that inner corner of that eye is. Instantly, you're drawn to here rather than out here. So again, if you've got hooded eyes, you're going to bring the focus in there. So shimmer on the eyes as an eyeshadow for hooded eyes there and there. If you haven't got hooded eyes, Oh, have fun with it and do those amazing spotlight eyes that you can do. You know, I was talking about the amazing um, glitters and pigments that you can get from Huda Beauty. These things, which I'm going to talk about again in a bit, these matte metals, great for that spotlight eye through here. Um, so let's, let me just go back to the comments quickly because I'm ignoring you all. Uh, written that down. Good, Louise. Louise is taking notes. Who's taking notes tonight? Okay, ask me any questions throughout. I'm going to talk a lot. So ask away any questions and say, slow down, stop, go back. What was that? What was this? And I will be able to help you. I never know when to stop and end up looking like a glitter ball. That is absolutely true for everyone. That's not just you, Lorna. So break your eye down into lower lid, crease, and upper lid. I don't care if it's hooded. You still have those sections. Do you have any visible lower lid? Maybe you don't. Maybe that's just for eyeliner. 
why not use a glittery eyeliner? If that's the only bit of your lower eye you can see, it will bring it forward, it will bring focus to your eye line, and then your hooded bit will be further back. So anything you wanna bring forward and focus, pop the glitter, pop the shimmer on, and then do it on your brow bone and leave your crease bit, Lorna, for absolute matte eyeshadows. Then you won't go too far. And apply your glitter and shimmer last, the last thing you do, that's what I do. Then you literally paint the face with light. Paint the face with light. I want a bit of light here, a bit of light there, a bit of light here, a bit of light there. Okay. So let me give you an example of that. Let's talk about these elf. You know, I, let me turn my light down a little bit. It's a bit bright. You know, I love these elf little um, pots. Now, let me just find the banner so you know the name of them if you want to write them down. Elf glitter eyeshadows. So they come like this. Now, the packaging is so deceiving, elf. So this is what it looks like. You get it in the box and you think, oh, look at that. Goes right down to the end. No, it doesn't. That's them when they're taken out. So literally they just sit in the top of that box. Look. It's naughty, Elf. Slip it out. Easy as ever done. <laughs> and it's that big. So when you first buy them, you go, oh, well, that's a bit disappointing. But you know what? They're six pounds. And they are the most reflective, illuminating product and glittery. Now, I've got a greeny aqua one here. I've got like a, a multicolored silvery one. And I've got a gold one. And what's lovely about these is they're a glitter and they're in a gel. MAC do a very, very similar thing. They do the dazzle eyeshadows, which look like this. These are £17.50. These are £6. Guys, packaging-wise, application-wise, price-wise, these are just as good as these. So I adore these, the MAC ones. These are one of the first things I discovered. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're called Dazzle Eyeshadows. My favourite one is called Every Day is Sunshine. Oh, what a nice title. Every Day is Sunshine is a beautiful, this sort of champagne-y shimmy. You can see I've used it a lot. I find these, the application is easy to get out. You can get to the end of the tube. And I can buy three of these for the price of them. So Elf, well done. It's not a dupe in terms of packaging, but it's 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 a good enough for dupe in my eyes. So let me show you how it works. Let's use this brand new one I've just opened. This is in shade Disco Queen. Oh yeah, I'm glad we're using this. Let's I need to have disco music put on. Hang on. So look, it has a little applicator like this. Why is this good? Because the glitter isn't going to drop all over your face. So you're not going to end up with glitter all down here. So if you're like Lauren and you don't know where to stop, well, this. I'm going to paint on my lower lid, right up to my crease. Look how good this is. No separate brush. There's no drop. There's no fallout. Oh, look at me. I muted myself to me to do that. All my products are listed in the description. They're listed now. I was organized this week, so they're all in there. Click on the links, treat yourself to something sparkly in lockdown and get these fabulous elf um, liquid eyeshadows. Really wonderful. I'm just doubly checking my price. Oh, five pounds. They're getting cheaper. Buy them while you can. Buy them while you can. And again, the same product you could put in this area of your tear duct all around there. And that's instantly, from day to night, if you're in the office and you just want to add some sparkle, you could put that over an eyeshadow and it's going to be gorgeous. Love them. So we've talked about MAC here, still on the screen. I just want to give that one more plug. Elf Glitter Eyeshadows. I think they're better than the Dazzle Eyeshadows, personally. Or just as good. Okay, MAC Pigments and MAC Glitter. You'll all know if you've been to a MAC store or a MAC concession, you've all seen these... Oh my God, could you imagine if that had broke? Glitter would have gone everywhere. You've all seen these little pots, haven't you, in MAC? They come in glitters, they come in pigments, they have little star shapes. Anything glitz and glam is what they, uh, they do. And what is a pigment? We've talked about this when we did eyeshadows. This is loose colour. 
100% loose colour. So there's no talc, no medium mixing agents in there to make them blend better. They are just the colour. So on their own, they're really hard to blend because they're not designed to be blended. They're designed to be pressed, stamped, then put on the, on the skin, on the eye, on the lip as a solid colour. So if you find a colour or a sparkle you like, this is going to last you forever. So this here is called reflective red. So it's not a glitter as such, it's a really soft sheen, okay? So I could press this on top of that e.l.f. product because the e.l.f. is a glitter. So I'm using that as my base to stop it dropping, but I'm adding more shimmer, more sparkle. Now to you guys, this is all looking just white because of the light. But you can see the sheen in there. No, you can't. But what you're not seeing because of my balloon ring light is this is reflecting red, sparkly, it's glitzy. But that is, look at the level of shimmer on a light. So if this was a, a photograph, a Zoom call, a selfie, that is the level of flashback you're going to get. And it looks white. So although here it looks silvery, pinky, on the camera it goes, looks like I've just painted Tipex on my eyes. Not what you want. So you can wear glitter on a ring light and make it sparkly, but you need to go warmer with your colours so you don't get this, or bigger with your glitter particles. Am I making any sense? Is this making any sense? Hello, Trish, darling. So I'm going to demonstrate on this eye my um, matte and metal. Where are we? Let me just go to my banners. This, Huda Beauty Matte and Metal. So, shimmer on one side, matte on the other. Straight in with my shimmer. I don't need to worry about anything like that. I'm going on the same eye. I'm going to have a very glitzy eye. Look again, it's a liquid, so there's no drop. And I can use my finger. Right, there we go. So. What are you noticing there? You're noticing straight away that's more, it's warmer and it's not looking like that Tipex, that eye Tipex thing going on. It's looking warmer, it's looking shimmery and you can see the metallic sheen in that and that, they're beautiful. That is a Huda Beauty matte and metal. Look at the sheen level on that, aren't they beautiful? So you could just do that and then you could put a darker chocolate brown eyeshadow in here. You could add sparkle, you could throw that into your bag. You could use the matte end during the day and then when, if you're going out for drinks after work, if you're going to a party, if you're going out for a restaurant when they open, you can open up that end, sparkle, sparkle, day to night, one product. Love these, love, love, love them. Okay, a bit more high end, very, very similar product is by Suku, you know I love Suku. This, look at that frosted packaging, goes light to dark, sexy. Suku, S-U-Q-Q-U. -Q -Q -U. Okay, so this is in the colour, um, oh, it's 05, it's a number, but they're called Glow Touch Eyes. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at this, how easy it goes on. That's just the applicator, no separate brush. That is like a rosy gold, this is very, very on trend, this sort of rosy, goldy, pinky colour. Look at that soft sheen. So you can see this is metallic and this is like a soft rosy gold, really pretty colour. Really pretty. Um, these are £24. So they're a bit more bougie, a bit more high end, but they're beautiful and they last. So you've got that pink there, look. So what could you do with that? Right, so I can go into my James Morphe palette with a nice fluffy brush, go into a deeper purpley pink and I could go in this corner and I could go across with a darker pink and there you go you're creating a pink smoky eye going into the glitter and the shimmer okay so this eye it's really gold and really coppery 
I'm not even going to clean my brush, guys. I'm going to go in with a nice, um, warm, caramelly brown. Like a coffee colour. And I'm going to warm up my outer corner socket. And blend that into the shimmer. And there, I mean, this is obviously really quickly done. You've got a lovely, let me blend that in a bit better. That looks a bit harsh on camera. So I'm going across window screen wipe emotions. You've got copper to chocolate brown. So the shimmer is in here and it's matte there. Then you've got dark pink into the shimmer going in there. Two different smoky eyes, coppers and pinks. How easy was that? And do you know why? Because the shimmer and the glitz and the glimmer gives you dimension to your eyes. It gives you that, uh, that 3D, it catches the light and it's really, really flattering. We've still got our little bit of brow stuff going on under there you've got really defined but all in here is matte so i know obviously my makeup is more heightened and more dramatic than some of you guys will do but the principle is exactly the same keep your socket and outer corner matte the lid the lash line the brow bone can be glittery and shimmery let me just check in back with you guys i was going to ask about pink shimmer it's very on trend trish pinks you know how many times it is uh, it's a bit like devil wears prada oh flowers for spring how original. Um, so it is pinks, rose golds, and these plum lips, these dark plum lips we're seeing are very, very, very on trend. Um, I want to keep going on because I'm going to show you some really fun tricks with glitter and it's going to get really fun. And I don't want to keep talking too much about random other things. So we were talking about the MAC pigments. I just want to say the MAC pigments are 17 pound 50 big pot lasts you forever lasts you forever they come in so many different shades and one that you have to try is tan this beautiful tan color here it is stunning so again i can use a bit of this i've got that coppery um liquid on this eye i can press that onto here it will add a different level it's like a foiling foil effect on your eyes it'll deepen that color but look at that it just looks like tin foil on the eyes so pretty once that's defined blended in with your eyeshadows <laughs> she got some drop see that's what i mean by the loose mac things that's why i don't tend to go for them because I, you get droppage with the other glitters in the gels whether it be your dazzle eyeshadows or your elf they stay where they are but you know what you can buy if you want to be really makeup artist about it? MAC do this, and it's called the mixing medium. So just exactly what it said, it's just a medium, as in a formula. It doesn't mean medium as in colour, just the, the product, to mix things with. So you can buy it in matte, you can buy it in gloss, you can buy it in uh, an illuminating, I think. Don't quote me on that. But basically, what is it? It's like a gunky hair gel, but it's designed... It's like a Vaseline, like a lip balm, so it's quite greasy. No, it's not greasy, sorry. But it's designed, so I would put a little bit on my hand here, right, of this. And I would take my MAC pigment here. And you would put that on my... <laughs> I'm making such a mess, as you can see. Right, so there's the mixing medium and the matte pigment mix the two together and look what you've got you've got the dazzle eyeshadows and the mac um dazzle eyeshadows straight away in a creamy liquid form go with your brush pop that maybe you want to go underneath your eyes something like this and i've got my mac pigment in a gel form that can work with any eyeshadow any pigment any uh you can scrape a bit off the eyeshadow i've done it with a friend of mine who wanted a hot pink lipstick and he didn't have one uh so i scraped a bit of a hot pink eyeshadow it was from this palette and mixed it with the mixing medium put it on the lips you can turn your eyeshadows into lipsticks and this is called mixing medium by mac you'll get it from the pro stores you won't get it on the concessions but it's like that you can do the same thing with a bit of uh, Vaseline, with a bit of coconut oil, but that is designed to be used with eyeshadow. So if you can get hold of that, get hold of that. I have got MAC pigment everywhere. I'll deal with that afterwards. I'm not going to deal with that now. Um, 
I'm not going to cost you a fortune gainer because I'm giving you well-researched, good-priced products. It's all worth it. Um, I don't know how much that is off the top of my head because I didn't uh, look at it. Any question? Isn't that amazing, Lorna? The mixing medium. Uh, you've got to... And it that, that I've had that for a year. I'm not lying. Four years. And I'm not even halfway down. You saw how little I use. A little bit goes a long way. Same with the pigments. So if you've got old pigments, old loose eyeshadows, I buy these stacking pots from Muji and I travel with my pigments like this so I can see them. They're easier. Great. I love a bit of Muji. Does anyone else get hooked with Muji? I buy pots for things that are already in pots and I decant into pots. There's no reason. No reason. I'm Googling um, Mac Mixing Medium. Don't go anywhere. Oh, we can come in a, a squeezy tube now, guys, as well. Because I've had mine so long. £16. And that is on Mac, um, maccosmetics.co.uk. £16. But I tell you that £16 will turn all your eyeshadows into liquid glitters, into lips. Can you use on lipsticks as well? It's amazing. It's all very tempting, isn't it, Tracy? Remember, I am not sponsored by any brands. I'm not paid by any brands that I'm preaching tonight. So if you want to buy it, you go and buy it. If you don't want to buy it, I'm not bothered. No pressure. I always avoid loose pigments. Defo going to try this. Totally. And I'm with you, Daniel, because they drop and you get into a mess. And I, the same, I hate loose. But mixing mediums are great. Or, do you know, another great trick is as well is to take a fixing spray, the Morphe fixing spray, the Beauty Blender fixing spray is beautiful, and just spritz your makeup brushes and then roll the brush on your hand with the pigment on so that your brush is slightly tacky and then press, 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 press. And again, if you want to stop it, you can get loose powder, lay that all down into your eyes, do your eyes. Great way of doing it. Oh, I've left that super thing on there for ages. Right. Let me quickly move on to this. Because I've just told you all ages about getting that. Now I'm going to show you something else which is magical. And it's this, the Krylan Multigel, tiny little tube. And it's dead cheap for, again, what you get out of it. £7.70. Looks tiny. This has lasted me a whole year of touring easily, and I'll use it four or five times a week. You take the tiniest bit of glitter gel, I squeeze it on my hand, tiniest, tiniest little pea amount, yeah? Take a brush, the, and then wherever you want to apply the glitter. So let me say I want to apply the glitter all in my tear duct area. I'm going to be quite crass with it so you can see it on camera. I look all right today now. <laughs> And then maybe you want to apply it. Um, no, let's just do that. Let's because I've got so many glitters on. I'm going to look like a blooming right mess. And then these are my favourite eyeshadows to go for, and they are the Cryolan Fine, Medium, and Coarse Glimmer. Why do they call them glimmer and not glitter? Because you search the website for glitter and you don't find it, and they call it glimmer. It's weird. Same brush is slightly tacky from my glitter gel. So I dip it in my loose glitter. Now this is quite big grains. Will it focus? Will it focus? I might have to put my hand up. Right. So focus. Good. Well, should I go really close? No. But it was pretty to look at, wasn't it? And then I'm going to press this in the corner. Now that is the level of sparkle that I like as Le Bois. Now on camera, this is look on the light, it's making it look absolutely like an absolute white blob. But if I turn my lights right down, can you see how sparkly? Yes, that's too big. It's too big a surface. I would put it much smaller. But look at that level of sparkle and glitz compared to any of these shimmers. So on stage, if I've got a bit too much on, which is easily done because I'm putting it on a loose gel, I can take a cotton bud and I will just flick some of that glitter off. And I'll use this fan brush. Let's push that down. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's what you'll see me wearing on lives, on, where it just brings the focus into here. So a bit sparkly, maybe for some of you for every day. But this comes with a little... Oh, I've just spilled it everywhere. Um, I'm 
absolutely covered in glitter. <laughs> so it comes with a little like inkwell top on it like this normally, and you can dip your brush through the hole. So it's really, really good. Let me explain fine, medium and coarse. So what that means is guys, if you wanted to wear loose glitter on your face, number one, make sure it's polyester glitter, not aluminium. You do not want to put metal near your eyes on your face. And you want to make sure it's not scratchy and sharp. So you want it to be cosmetic glitter. It could be nail glitter, but again, make sure it's polyester. So don't just be going into Hobbycraft and buying a big pot of glitter for kids and thinking you can put it on your face. Because if it's aluminium, it's going to, it's metal. It's shards of metal. It goes in your eye or scratch your eye. So you want plastic polyester, ideally for makeup or for nails. That's what you're going to find. But Cryland, they're so cheap. How much are they growing? Seven pounds. And again, they're a big pot. It's gonna, you're gonna use a few grains and it's gonna go a long, long way. So, seven pounds. Fine is gonna be like the shimmer up here. So it's gonna give you much a softer shine. Medium, slightly bigger particle. Coarse, a much bigger particle. Why do I want a bigger particle? Because I want, question I've asked many a time. I want the light, the bigger surface area of sparkle for a stage light to bounce off. So if I wear fine, fine glitter, you're not going to see that even in the front row of a theatre. If I wear these flatter squares of cut polyester that are really shimmery, it's going to give a bigger surface area for the light to bounce off. So that's the same rule for any glitter. So if you want to do a really glittery lower lid in a chunky glitter, like when you see some um, drag queens do it, and it's so sparkly, that would be really big grain coarse glitter. So Google, you can get glitter shapes, stars, moons, all sorts. And you can press them on. This glitter gel, I'm not going to lie, it's like hair gel. You could use a clear hair gel from Boots, a massive tube, a pound, and put a little bit of gel on there and stick your glitter on. It'll be exactly the same thing. You're not going in your eye. It's going to dry. so It's not going to run in your eye or anything like that. And what does it do? It's a gel. So it holds the glitter in place. It dries and the glitter sticks. So it doesn't drop. And also when you're applying it, you don't get that awful dropped glitter thing going on okay um oh Lorraine is saying she bought some Steeler eye spy glitter and glow liquids they are lovely love Steeler you know I always love Steeler um so you've got to do it do you ever do a full lit, uh, lip of glitter for stage yes I well I used to and I have done in the past let's do one now let's show you what we're meaning so when I was in Madame Jojo's always used to do a glitter lip love it some people use lash glue some will use a gloss I don't think you need to do that if you have too much moisture and liquid and jelly stuff to stick your glitter to, it's going to move, it's going to crease, it's going to come off, it's going to go in lines. It'll look brilliant when you first put it on. When you're talking and singing, it'll all move, it'll separate. So, for the ultimate glitter lip, take a red lipstick. It can be a matte one, but if it's a matte one, you need to put your glitter on before it dries. So, this is, what is this? Mac, Mac Red. So make sure you cover your lip, your whole lip, right up to your lip line. So I'm not putting any more on than you would normally. And there, that will hold your glitter on for a full show. Trust me, you do not need lash glue on your lips. Take a, from someone who's done eight years at Madame Jo, trust me, that will not come off. Take your little uh, glitter and a nice smallish brush like this. Go in my inkwell. Now, it won't get much glitter on at the minute because it's a dry brush. I hold my glitter under my lip to catch any fall down. And press. Press the glitter on your lip. Can you notice I'm pressing? And then the minute I press, I go back in the top. Make sure you get full covering.
this is uh, medium, medium grain. I find the coarse works. It's quite big on your lip, so sometimes it doesn't sit well together. And then without, without being too unglamorous, just do a like a sound. Ta-da! And then all you need to do is if you've got any slight little drop bits, because you're not, is just brush around the mouth towards the lip and knock any bits off. That is how you do a glitter lip. Thomas Ryan talking about this. One of my colleagues and gorgeous performers and friends from Madam Jojo's. Look, I've just done the Jojo's lip live on Facebook. What timing is that? Now, one of my favourite, favourite memories of our good friend, Miss Terry, who used to work down at Madame Jojo's, was we used to have this big fan on the wall, like a, an oscillating fan to keep us all cool. And it would blow like this way. She'd always put the fan on and would get ready because it was so warm backstage. And she would sit there with the glitter and put it so precisely like... And she'd spend ages. And then once she went like this, she had the glitter in her hand, she went... And that towards the fan, and the fan went whoosh, and blew all the glitter all over her face after spending so much time putting it on expertly. Never laughed so much in my life. My favourite moment from Madame Jojo's. So that is your glitter lip. Doesn't that look amazing? It's gorgeous on stage. It's really uncomfortable. It feels like you've got sugar all around your lips. So you just have to brave it and wear it. You cannot wear it and lick your lips and, and you know, whatever else you want to do. Don't be snogging the night away. People are now covered in glitter. The other little trick you can do, this is going to be a bit saucy, is when you've done this, is to do this. And it takes any glitter from the inside here so it stops it going on your teeth. Little trick, suck the finger, suck the finger. Oh my gosh. Um, right, really quickly, because it's quarter two, I want to tell you about something really, really, really exciting. Um, we used to use edible in burlesque, it's not overly dissolved. Yes, you can use co uh, cooking glitter, which is sugary for the lips, but it just dissolves and goes really sticky. And it's, I don't think it's very great to myself. Personally, there is your multi gel. Um, right, let me quickly show you something really, really sweet. If you want to get a gift for people at Easter, whether you've got teenage daughters or you want highlighter on the face, Revolution are doing these lovely heartbreakers. Look how adorable these are. Look, a little box like this, and in it is a little jewel highlighter. So one side is, let me turn my light down. One side is like a pinky gold, and the other side is a silvery gold. Really sweet, £3.49. Going, going, gone. Do you know what I mean? Whisk your brush in and go on your cheek here. It's a highlight, really lightly. Oh, that's not much at all. That's so shimmery. Mirror ball cheek. None on that side. Let me powder so you can see again the matte, matte side, highlighter side. Rev I just wanted to show, I saw these in Super Chicken today and I just thought they were adorable. Great little Easter gifts if you've got um, nephews, nephews, nieces. Well, it's 2021, maybe nephews. Um, you know, I love my MAC skin finish. This is soft and gentle as a highlighter, uh, but you know, highlighters, highlighters, in my opinion. In my opinion, who cares about my opinion? Anyway, carry on. I'm drinking rosé. Look at the state of my makeup now. Look at the, look, if you just tuned in now, you're going to think, oh, did she fall asleep in the eyeshadow palette? I mean, look. Right. If you could just see how much glitter is all around me, I'm going to be finding it for weeks. Right, very, very exciting. My darling, darling people, I am launching some new merchandise and a new product live with you gorgeous people of my Secret Makeup Club right now in collaboration with the one and only Crystal Parade. Crystal Parade are the stoning brand that, that sells Swarovski, Preciosa, the flat back crystals that have all my shoes done, my dresses, my stage comments, all of those are made by Crystal Parade and provided by Crystal Parade. They do the biggest range of press on stones, glue on stones. You name the colour, you name the size, they will do it. I have collaborated with Crystal Parade 
to present the Lavoie mix. Now there is two mixes you can buy. You can buy this mix, which is very, very uh, small stones, teardrop size stones, um, AB, there's red siams in there. There is ABs, there is clear, and these are smaller and they're great for your nails, for nail art. So if you want to get some nail glue, and bling up your nails, the Lavoie Nail Mix is available. Don't quite think that's listed separately on the website yet. But most excitingly, the Lavoie Makeup Mix. Now, these are, let me shake some of the right way up. Let me tip some on my hand. This is crystals that you can use on your makeup, specially selected. <laughs> God, it's all going everywhere. Specially selected <laughs> by me. So you've got these larger teardrops in an AB. You've got red Siam stones. I love a bit of red Siam. Do you know what? Taking it out of the packet was actually not the best thing to do. And you've got AB and you've got clear. So to give you an idea of what you're buying in this, you are getting a hundred Preciosa crystals of red Siam, AB, clear, flat backed, and a few um, teardrops and some really large stones in there as well. And that is the mix. There's not a hundred in there because half of them have come out. Um, but that is what you're getting. Okay, all those crystals. And what do you do? What do you do? Well, you take your multi gel. I would be tempted with some of the bigger ones to use a bit of lash glue, tiny bit of lash glue just because it's going to have a bit more of a bonding ability. Take a brush, end of a brush. Don't use a, the bristles of a brush in latex because it will go everywhere. Put this right here near your tear duct. Uh, let's put some more there. Let's put one there. Okay, it's three dots there. One there. Well, then using now, I use a B wax pencil. This isn't white. This is a you can get them on Amazon. So it's just a wax pencil. Pick up the stone. Pop it on your lash glue. Can you have a word? Remember, the glue will dry clear. One. three three stones up there one in the tear duct absolute spot you could do a lip with stones if you really really wanted to but that is the lavoir mixed crystal brand new makeup products i know you've all been screaming when are you going to bring out your own stuff this is in collaboration with crystal parade they are so cheap six pounds twenty for 100 Preciosa crystals, add code LAVOIR5, you get 5% off. I mean, that's not very generous, is it really? But that's all they would give me. 5% off, can you believe it? But it's a discount, isn't it? So £6.20, what, here we go, I'm going to try and do maths now. That's 10% will be 62 pence, so you get 31 pence off. Name me anyone else that's giving you that much discount online tonight. No one, no one. So for about five, <laughs> trying to work this out. Five pounds something, a hundred precious crystals, and you too could be as sparkly as this. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, Lavoie, I'm not going to be gluing stones on my face. You will if you've booked a ticket to see my tour at lavoie.co.uk. You'll be wearing crystals. You could wear one here. I've got some larger stones. Why not give yourself a crystallized beauty spot? And that's glamorous. Beauty spot there, or maybe a little teardrop shape. You can, you, know, you can make a really elaborate bindy on the middle here if you're looking all exotic. You could do a full eye-stoned eyebrow with the red ones. I mean, the endless, endless, endless products. Isn't that exciting? So, at the minute, what you need to do is, um, Haleem, they're sold out. They're sold out. I know they sold out. They sold out when I put them on the other day. I, they will be back in stock. So, the link is in the description above right now. Um, and you go on the website and you'll find them. I will speak to Poppy from Crystal Parade uh, this week and I will find out when they're going to be restocked because they have sold out so quick this afternoon. Somebody, I posted a little thing on Instagram the other day and somebody worked it out, clocked it, found them and they've sold out. Uh, do you know why? Because 
for Preciosa. I'm not giving you cheap Chinese uh, knockoff plastic stones here, resin. These are glass crystal Preciosa stones. So I'm, you know me, I like quality and I want you to have quality. So for a hundred stones, that will last you ages. I've already bought four on. If I did that, I would be eight. You know, it's gonna last me a long, long time. So do you like that idea? I love it. So make sure you check them out. The link is above. They will be on my website, lavoir.co.uk as well. Um, so don't worry, you can check that out. But there we go. So from shimmer to glitter, it's all about where you place it. And I want to really, really quickly just touch on people that have hooded eyes that feel everything I've done is a bit too glitzy. Can we have a word about how ridiculously glamorous and glitzy I look right now? So um, Lorna and other people that are wondering when to stop, I think a really good way of doing the glitter is take your glitter gel, put it under your eye here, along your eyeliner. If you notice, the glitter gel doesn't take the makeup off. So you can put it over the top of eyeliner, over the top of eyebrows, over the top of eyeshadow, and it doesn't lift the makeup off. That's why I really like it. I'm using this really dark glitter by Essence Glitter. Again, um, I tagged them into Instagram, so I will let you know if I hear anything back. Using the end of my brush, Use that in this dark, petrally as an eyeliner underneath. Look how glitzy and glammy that is. And you could do that along the top on your lash line as well. And that will stay, that won't drop, that won't come off. And do you know the best way to get all this off, darlings, when you're home, so a little bit of glitter, is get some sellotape. You're gonna think I'm mad. Get some sellotape. Um, I have a little dispenser here. And you just, if her lips, for example, Press, press, press. Lift all the glitter neatly off. See? All off that top lip. Hasn't gone all over my face with cleanser. Hasn't gone everywhere. And then I can use my cleanser as normal. And I'm not rubbing sharp bits of polyester glitter on my face. You can do the same right with, this is scotch tape. I find this magic scotch tape really gentle. So I can use it around my eyes and I can use that. And I could go right in my tear duct and it lifts all the glitter off. I'm giving you all the tricks. I'm giving you all the tricks. Live on YouTube, live on Facebook, the secret makeup club. Now remember if you buy anything tonight, as I always say, I've got glitter everywhere. Please just tag me in or on Instagram, tag the brand. So for example, tag Elf and say, bought my uh, liquid glitter eyeshadow from Elf, mention Elf, watching uh, recommended by Lavoir or Secret Makeup Club Lavoir. And it just lets the brand know that by us doing this together, you've bought something and I try my hardest to get discount codes. Crystal Parade, it's coughed up. Might only be 5%, but it's 5%. And I will get you more and more and more discount codes the longer this goes. We're in this for the long term. And the minute we're lifted out of lockdown, I'm going to plan to do the Secret Makeup Club live in spas and in events. So you can book and we can do this in person and I can help you with your makeup. And we can do live Secret Makeup Clubs all around the UK. I'm going to travel around doing them. I've just said that. I don't know if that's going to be able to happen with my tour, but I will try. Um, it's amazing with the scotch tape. The best trick ever I can recommend. So is there anything else I want to recommend tonight product-wise? No. Um, I'm more than covered for glitz and glamour. Hope that's helped. I need to go wash my face because it's an absolute state. I just want to really, really quickly say, I am doing another live show on Friday the 26th of March on Facebook, full singing, all your best musical theatre songs, your pop songs, a bit of Tina, a bit of Shirley Bassey, you name it, it's going to be in there. Uh, the tickets are on sale now at lavoir.co.uk. Uh, they will be posted on social media tomorrow, but if you want to get them, you're watching this now, you can be ahead of the game. And the show is called The Technology Revenge because of the problems I had last time. Do you know what happened? My laptop that I was hosting on simply wasn't charging and it died. So that's why when we plugged it back in, it all worked. So that will not happen again. Lavoir and technology does not meet, but that is a Lavoir show on Friday the 26th of March. Hope you enjoyed tonight. I'm absolutely covered in glitter and sparkle. I look a right mess. How am I going to clean this all up? I'm going to be finding it for weeks. Get your ticket, says Lorraine Downing. Yes, I quite agree. Share this video if you want to catch up with it anytime on the Secret Maker Club. All the videos go onto YouTube. 
full description of all the products are above in the description so click on go shopping go and enjoy uh choir julie she's off to choir with sellotape lips <laughs> come to edinburgh i would love to come to edinburgh and uh this week on uh i'm not going to name a day because i don't want to keep myself to because i'm how busy i am but i think i'm going to be wednesday i'm going to do a instagram live and on thursday uh i will also be doing uh no uh facebook lives and instagram lives on uh wednesday uh i'm going to do it from my costume store can everyone please mute themselves love what you need to spotlight yourself well if people want to talk lorraine i get it you can always turn your volume down that's true but we will mute people during the songs I think like the girl who was helping with Zoom when I said sing along, thought I wanted to hear you singing. And as much as I love you all, we didn't want to hear that. Not with the delay, it was madness. But it will be technically better. The muting will not have, unmuting will not happen during the songs and we'll have a whale of a time. No rules, we're in lockdown, we're all coping. Don't analyze it, it's just fun. All right, gorgeous people, love you lots. I will see you all next week. What do you want to talk about next week on Secret Makeup? Any ideas and things you want to talk about um because i'm running a bit low on things we haven't covered uh are you going to chipping lovely i am of course i am uh can't wait what should we talk about next time i think we need to cover smoky eyes how to do smoky eye uh you did want me to cover brows and, and drag makeup at some point um is it interesting to cover drag makeup is that something that people would want me to do Happy to do it. Let me know. Anyone's tippy typing away. I will wait to see the comments come up and uh, see what you want to do. I'm just going to just going to pack up my Lavoir makeup mix. So just to reiterate, there will be a, a nails mix and a makeup mix for the crystals. Uh, summer makeup, Trish. Oh, we can. Well, we are. Could, oh, I know what I'm going to do because I've been literally slathering myself in it for weeks. We're going to do the best gradual tanner. So I've tried everything from saint Tropez to Vita Liberata to Dove to Skinny Tan uh, to Boots Number no. 7. I'm going to be telling you my top five or six gradual tans so you can get rid of that pasty body in time for summer. Because, of course, the weather's getting nice and we can't be pale. Um, makes you want to stick a stone. That Oh, yes. Buy them, Daniel. Well, they're probably cheaper than buying them for your costume. Buy my makeup mix. Uh, Helene. Okay, Helene, I will do drag makeup and I will let you know when the stones are back in stock. Keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll post that on there. Um, I know you are. I was asking Indra. Oh, <laughs> well, you can't put it on here and not expect to think it's about me. Right. Drag makeup we will cover. So let's do, we've done Sparkle this week. Let's cover Summery Sun fake tanning next week oh <laughs> let's all be orange together let's do fake tanning next week and then a week after that let's do drag makeup and i cannot wait i love you all thank you for joining me look at that 1959 we did an hour bang on and i will see you all next week take care of yourselves bye everyone bye